Hi, my name is Marie and welcome to Steam Story. A basic overview of what this is. I'm doing my senior thesis on the history of steampunk and how it relates to literature and how it relates to the costume designs I did for a show that we did here at my college. So to keep my thoughts straight and since I have all this information, I figured I would share it with the internet. I'm going to do this in several batches because it's a lot of information. My senior thesis ended up being over 20 pages and I really could have kept going, so I'm going to keep going in this. So I'm going to start at the beginning. This first vlog is going to have a general overview of what steampunk is and then I'm going to move into a history of the Victorian era and then how that relates to steampunk and early steampunk influences and the coining of the term steampunk in early writers. So, for some general information, officially steampunk started as a literary subgenre. It was um, a play on cyberpunk, and I'm gonna go more into what cyberpunk is later. Basically, think Blade Runner and Matrix. Those are both extremely cyberpunk. Steampunk actually has been around since the Victorian era, but the term wasn't coined until much, much later. So, really, steampunk has been around pretty much forever, and there's a quote on that from Abney Park. I'll share it with you all later. The Encyclopedia of Science Fiction defines steampunk as the modern subgenre whose science fiction events take place against a 19th century background. And Brian J. Robb defines steampunk as a subgenre of science fiction and fantasy literature, primarily concerned with alternative history, especially in imaginary Victorian era when steam power and mechanical clockwork dominated technology. The Victorian era was basically in England from the time Queen Victoria assumed the throne until she died in 1901. The influences go a little back more since before Victoria and of course they kept going afterwards while um, evolving into Edwardian and Georgian. So Victorian time was really very innovative. There were a lot of new inventions and machines and technology that came around, specifically the steam engine. Unfortunately during this time technology was advancing too quickly for the economy to keep up with. So that really influenced the class structure as the middle class gained the right to vote and the lower class and working class were still working in factories and unable to read and such. There was really that class distinction between the, the higher class, like the upper middle class, middle class, lower middle class, and then the working and low class citizens. There was also the suffrage movement which came about. It became a national movement in the United Kingdom in 1972. The 1832 Reform Act, which allowed middle class males to vote depending on how much land they owned and how much that amounted to in rent. So now we know about Queen Victoria and the Industrial Revolution and the suffrage movement and class changes and how that all factors into steampunk literature and the writers of the time. Literary-wise, writers were moving from romantic literature into Victorian literature, which is very class-conscious and often used as a lens to view the social spheres. A lot of Victorian writers are Charles Dickens and Alfred Lord Tennyson, which are just two. So if you'd like to read some Victorian writing, go. Find Hard Times or A Tale of Two Cities, read some Tennyson. Uh, I really enjoy Tennyson myself. My favorite poem is The Lady of Shalott. And this is actually getting pretty long, so I'm gonna make a second video that goes into early steampunk influences and coining the term in early writers. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.